Welcome. Today's presentation is on applications of logarithms and the question here reads use tables of logarithms to evaluate cube root of 46.8 times 0 0.1324 squared over 5 log 7. So in this problem we are first of all going to work out the logarithms of values under the root sign and then later on deal with the root sign. So to begin, we will form a table. Now this table will help us in analyzing. So we have a column for the number and the logs. So we are going to begin with the numerator under the root sign. Numerator we have 46.8 so these values will have to write them in standard form so 46.8 is 4.68 times 10 power 1 and then we read its logarithm and its logarithm is 1 point so this 1 is the power of 10 here and then after the decimal point we'll be reading the logarithm of 4.68 from mathematical tables and that should give us 6702 so we have 0.6702 now this part before the decimal point is usually called characteristic and after the decimal point we have the mantissa Okay, so we are on the numerator. We've already obtained logarithm of 46.8. Next, we get logarithm of 0 0.1324 squared. So again, we will write that in standard form. So we have 1.324 times 10 power negative 1. But remember, it is squared, so we square. And this therefore b so we read the logarithm of whatever we have inside the brackets and we begin by writing the power of 10 and this time around we have negative 1 so negative 1 will be written as this so this is read as bar 1 and then after the decimal point we get the logarithm of 1.324 and from my mathematical table, I'm getting 1, 2, 1, 9. But remember, this is raised to power 2. And by laws of logarithm, if you have logarithm of a number, say a raised to power n, then this would be n log a. So applying that here, since it was raised to power 2, the logarithm of this would be equivalent to logarithm of the brackets times 2. So we'll have to multiply this by 2. And that should give us by 2.2438. Now that is for the numerator. So Let's have this 1.6702. Let's align it with this other one. So we have 1.6702. So on the numerator, we were multiplying, and by laws of logarithm, multiplication would imply addition of logarithms. So we add the logs, and this will be 0. 4, 1, 9, and bar 1. So here we have 1 plus negative 2, which is negative 1. So that's why we have bar 1 there. And then once we're done with the numerator, we now move to the denominator. On the denominator, we have 5 times log 7, so we'll begin by having 5 in standard form. 
and then read its logarithm. So we begin by the characteristic, which is the power of 10, that is 0. And then we get logarithm of 5.0 from tables. So that is 0 0.6990. Again, we need to get logarithm of log 7. So first of all, we'll have to determine what log 7 is from our calculators directly. And that is 0 0.8451. So this is what we are going to write in standard form in this column and then we get its logarithm. So we have 8.451 times 10 power negative 1 and its logarithm becomes, so we begin by characteristic that is by 1 point and then we get the logarithm of 8.451 from mathematical tables, so that is 0 0.9270. Again, on the denominator we have 5 log 7, so this is multiplication, we are multiplying 5 by log 7, so that implies that their logarithms will be added, and when we add the logs, here we'll have 0, 6, 2, then 6, carry 1, and then 1 plus negative 1, that is 0, so we have 0 0.6260. So already we have under the root sign, the numerator and the denominator. So since it's division here, then that would imply subtraction of their logarithms that is according to the laws of logarithm so the next step so we have bar 1.9140 for the numerator minus 0 0.6260 for the denominator so we subtract and when we subtract, we will have this is 0, then 8, 8, then 2, and then finally bar 1, that is bar 1 minus 0. So, this is the logarithm of everything that we have under the root sign. The next thing is to apply uh, the root sign here, so we need to recall if you have logarithm of the nth root of let's say a, this is the same as logarithm of a raised to power 1 over n, which can also be given as 1 over n times log a. So that is basically what you're going to apply here. So the root sign here simply means the whole of this was raised to power a third. So when we get its logarithm, we will simply multiply by a third. So the logarithm of everything under the root sign is by 1.2880 and because it is cube root, we'll have to multiply by a third, so that implies by 1.2880 will be multiplied by a third, which is equivalent to dividing by 3. So at this particular step, we realize that the characteristic here, by 1, is not divisible by 3, so if it were a positive value, then we just divide directly. That would not be a problem. But for this particular case, it is bar 1, but bar 1 is not divisible by 3. So we need to express bar 1 in a way that it will be divisible by 3, but at the same time we maintain the value as bar 1. So how do we achieve that? So we simply 
use multiples of 3, for example, bar 3, bar 6, bar 9, but preferably I'll go for bar 3, that would make work simple, so we have bar 3, and then you ask yourself what number to add to bar 3, that still gives us bar 1, so remember bar 3 is the same as negative 3 for this case, so negative 3 plus 2, that is still negative 1. And then we have 0 0.2880 all divided by 3. So what we're simply going to have, we're going to divide by 3 by 3, and that is by 1, and then we'll have to add that to 2.2880 divided by 3, that should give us 0 0.7627. And then when you combine this, bar 1 should be added to 0, and that is equal to bar 1, then 0.7627. So at this particular step, we have already found the logarithm of the whole of this. So when you get to such a step, the next thing is to read the antilog. So, when you're reading the antilog, first we need to take note that the power of 10, whatever we'll have here will be in standard form. So, the power of 10 is the characteristic here, which is negative 1. But 1 here is negative 1. And then we read the antilog of 0 0.7627 from mathematical tables, and that should give us. 5.790 and then that would be 0 0.5790 and thus we have evaluated this problem here using tables of logarithms so that is it for this question and thank you for watching Hope to see you in the next video.